हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स विल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रेली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे इज वीडियो इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आउटलुक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टेन ऑसम न्यू फीचर्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड Number one, schedule the meeting in the Teams. Well, as you can see, I'm in my Outlook. From here, I'll go to my calendar. So just click on it, and from here you can see we have an option that says New Teams Meeting. So just click on that, and now what will happen? A meeting will get scheduled for this date and for this time. From here you can change the date and time as well. And as you can see here. this meeting will get placed in microsoft teams so that's a really cool one and a really easy one that we can integrate our meetings in outlook with microsoft teams with just few clicks number 2 translate the messages let's say i have just opened this message and i can translate this message into many languages to do that here just click on this three dot option menu and from here we have an option that says translate message If you just click on it what it will do it will translate your message into the language that you want at the moment you might not have seen any new change because the language which is selected at the moment is english to change your language just click on this button or this label that says translation preferences so i will just click on it and from here you can add different languages so just click on add language and from here you can select any language as per your liking and after that you will be able to translate these messages into this particular language after that click on okay and you are good to go and here it says show original in case if you want to see the original content or original message after having the translation just click on this one and this message will get back with its original language number 3 one note feed Well as you can see I am on Outlook web and in here we have a new button that says one note feed if you just click on it what it will do it will extract all of the sticky notes from your phone tablet laptop and other machine where you have your Outlook account signed in and it will show you all the sticky note at one place now what you can do you can add the notes for particular email as well let's say I'm opening this email and from here and let's say i'm selecting this line now what i can do i can add a node in here here you can see we have different options and this one says add node if i just click on it here you can see i can add a node with this line and start typing it so how cool is that that now we can integrate one node with anything in our outlook and not only that we can change different colors as you can see we have list of different colors you can select as per your liking and then you can view messages and you have different other option at down you have insert image option if you just click on it what it will do it will ask you to go to the particular directory into your system and from there you will be able to insert any type of image in this particular one node i will just cross this one and then you can have a different list type you can add different bullets you have different formatting options that you can use into your one notes number 4 customize the outlook toolbar well here you can see we have three dot option menu button if you just click on it at the bottom we have an option that says customize if you just click on it what it will do it will ask you to make changes as per your liking So these are the different things that are there by default. Well, let's say I do not want to have undo button at my bar. So what I can do, I can just delete this one. Then I can delete these categories down here. If I want to add something more, I just can select this one. For example, I will just select this one. And now immersive reader is there. Then undo is again back, and then flag is not there at the moment. But if I click on it. now flag is also there in case if you want to go with the default setting just click on this button that says reset now i will just click on save and now here you can see the bar just got changed number 5 open in immersive reader well as you can see i have a message open in front of me 
what i can do now i can open this message in an immersive reader it will open this message in a new way so now let's just click on this button and let's see what does it offer this is the same message that was written over there but now this message will be played with audio so this is how you can have your messages into audio voices now if i click on this voice setting i can perform different tweaks with respect to this one at the moment the female one is selected but you can go with the male one as well at the top we have three different options if you go with text preferences what you can do you can increase the size and decrease the size of this text then you can increase and decrease the spacing i'm going with the default one then you can select the fonts the default one is calibri then you have different themes for your immersive reading now if you go with the second option that says grammar options here you also have different filters that you can apply onto your data or content and the last one is reading preferences that one is my favorite one because as you can see the line focus is disabled at the moment if i enable it here you can see you can read out the data line by line and by that you will have more focused on your content and it will be easier for you to read out what is being presented to you we can also translate this particular message so these are the languages that are available in which we can translate this particular message so select anyone as per your need and you are good to go number six board view for the calendar so as we are on to outlook web i'll go to my calendar and in here i will show you different things as you can see this is my calendar and at the moment i'm in board view you can change the view as per your liking and as per your need but i'm talking about the board view well in case if you want to zoom in just press control and just press closing parenthesis and this is how you can zoom in and you can zoom out well you can move these tablets or you can move these table with your mouse as well now here you can see you have three dot option if you just click on it what you can do you can change the view you can resize it and you can remove it from the board as well down here we have some tips these tips are related to how to use this particular board and then we have task you can add different tasks in here other than that here we have an option that says add to board if you just click on it what you can do you can add these different things into this particular board and here we have note option what it will do again it will extract all the notes from your devices and you will be able to use them in here and here you have different option regarding this note but what i want to talk about is again i'll click on this and here we have an option that says file what it will do it will extract all the files from your microsoft 365 and you will be able to add any one of these file into your board i will just get out of this and that was all about the board view of outlook number seven enable dark mode well as you can see at the moment the mode of theme is light if you go into your file tab and after that go to your office account here you have an option that says office theme if you just click on it from here you can have different themes for your outlook we have five options, but i want to go with the black one and here you can see the theme just got changed into black number eight share to outlook directly from teams so this is one of the channel in my teams and these are different messages in this particular channel what if i want to share this message directly to my outlook account to do so just click on these three dots and from here click on share to outlook what it will do it will open the outlook and it will embed this message into your outlook and you can send this message directly to any number of people from here so how cool and how easy it is that we can directly send messages and we can embed different things directly into our outlook account from our microsoft teams number nine read aloud well this feature allows you to have your messages in voice mode to do so just open any of your message and after that click on these three dots at the top bar and after that at the bottom you will have an option that says read aloud so this is how you can have your messages into voice mode here we have different settings that we can have with respect to our read aloud feature for example you can have microsoft david microsoft zira and microsoft mark and then you can set the reading speed as well i will just cross this one and now let's move on to the last topic or last feature of today's video number 10 use tighter spacing 
at the moment as you can see that we have number of messages in our inbox well what if there is a way that we can have more messages at a single glance at the moment we have 9 to 10 messages well to increase the number of messages in here we can tighter the space to do so go to your view section and after that use the option that says use tighter spacing if i just click on it and here you can see two more messages just got appeared in my inbox list so this is how you can have more messages and with that we are done with 10 features for today's video and i hope now you must have learned and you must have got to know about a lot of new things if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care